Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna review a package from Germany. I know that this package has been here for a long time now and that's partly because we have reviewed Germany twice before, right? I think we've done it twice before, at least once. So that's why it got put on hold for a while. But today we're gonna do this package. Before we dig into this, I'm just gonna say Cat's fundraiser for World Wildlife Fund has reached 3,000. 3,500. Yeah, it's gone over that. Someone and donated $1,000. <laughs> that's sick. Uh, as I said, if it reaches over 3,000, I'm gonna shave my beard. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to do it next weekend. So you, you guys are gonna have to wait until then. But now you know you sneaky little beard killers out there. And thank you for saving the rhinos. <laughs> it's not just for rhinos. Today's package is sent from a person called Lisa. In this package I picked up some good old German candies for you guys. But you won't find all those popular German brands like Kinder or Ritter's Sport in here. I thought that would be boring since you can buy this stuff pretty much all around the world now. I focused on some unknown brands and candy that takes me back to my childhood. Also I tried to only incorporate companies that still only produce their candy in Germany. Anyway, hope you like it. Have cool. a sunny fucking day! Thank you! Have a sunny fucking day, So the first thing we open, there's a little slit in the in the side of the package here, but this is a uh, Frigio. Can you see this? Yeah. A bunch of different color and I... I is it a cereal? Knusper Puffris Mit Mice? Rascal gets it. It's definitely not cereal, right? Ooh! Why do you keep taking more? They're like a, a little bit sour. Weird. A little bit sour. That's a really weird mix. It's like rice puffs, kind of, with like a sour twist to them. You keep snacking away on them. Yeah, it's a fun format. Not, yeah, not a good mix. It's not so tasty, but they're fun <laughs> to eat. Stop eating them, man. It doesn't look like you enjoy them, that they're that fun. Yeah, we get a 5 out of 10 for being fun. <laughs> okay. I'll give them a 3 out of 10 for um, um, the mix not being good enough for me. Do you remember when we have you take one, I take one thing? Yeah, and you just completely stopped with that. Yeah, now I decide. But I just pull stuff at random. So, here we have some gum. We're not gonna do the gum now because it's gonna destroy the rest of the candy. But this is center shock, so this is gonna be sour gum, I think. We'll say that for the end. <laughs> what is this? This Water is, animals. So this is Mielstier, which is... The S belongs to the Mier. Yeah, sea animals. It's a turtle, a seal, um, a oh, seahorse, and a regular fish, and a tortoise, and a hippo, and all that stuff. Look. And the minis! Oi! <laughs> Oi! You want the hippo? So this is a foamy candy. A lot of plastic for five candies, but, but I like it. 8 out of 10? Not the biggest fan of, of foamy candy, but 8 out of 10, that's pretty good for you. It's a good flavor and they're cute. There's a lot of fun and cute today. So far. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Next up, we got ourselves a puff, another puffery. That's the same brand, I think. You know what the, this is? The Master Cat and Stubbles. Yeah, <laughs> the Master Cat and Stubbles. <laughs> So this is, do you know that story guys? The little picture that they show here? Do you know what it's about? Comment down below if you know. Okay. Everyone's gonna go, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> this is another rice puff uh, kind of snack, but this is chocolate covered. So it's milk chocolate. What? We have something similar in Sweden, that's like China puffs it's called. If the puffs were salty, it would have been better. But the puffs were so bland in the flavor that it was like... And the chocolate didn't have a lot of flavor either. No, so 5 out of 10. 4 out of 10. And we have another chocolate here. So this chocolate is from a brand called Seti, I think. It looks pretty old school. It's a Schlager Sustaffel. Uh, chocolate with... Um, Peanuts. So if you're allergic to peanuts, don't eat it. Are you allergic to peanuts? Why are you sitting up so high so you get out of the frame? Uh, I'm not allergic to peanuts, no? Is medicine allergic to peanuts? Maybe. Can I try? No. You're allergic to chocolate. <laughs> Almost got it this time. It was fine, but uh, more salt I would like. 
Yeah, salt and chocolate is a good mix. This was not salted peanuts and chocolate. It was fine. It was neither that salty nor sweet. I mean, it was fine again, but very... It wasn't anything special. Yeah. Six out of ten, seven out of ten? Seven? Seven out of ten. I agree. <clears throat> Moving on. Mm. <laughs> Uh, this is another uh, chocolate from the same brand and I think this is hazelnut and it has a cow on the front right here Cow, focus cow, thank you, hey Hey cow And it's milk chocolate Stop sitting up so high Ooh mm. This looks nice And tastes like these uh, toffee squares we have in the cubes mm. Pretty good, I like this mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 Mm. It's the high point of the day so far. Seti Bambina. So not healthy. But Bambina is uh, Italian. But I'm sure like the, the chocolate brand might be German. But yes, the Bambina part is means uh, children in Italian, doesn't it? Isn't Bambino? Bambini is uh, children. Bambino is boys. Made in Germany. And Bambina is girls? I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, I know there's different meanings if this ends on an O, A, or I. <laughs> o, A, I. This is not a language video. This is not a grammar video. But um, <laughs> 9 out of 10 for me. For you? 7. Mm. But we saved this. No mint in the middle. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a rule. T shirt. That's a rule that we have here on this channel. No mint in the middle of the tasting. Mint goes in the end. We've actually had these before. Yes. This is Trolli. And you nuked them. Yeah. Saure Glushwurmchen. Saure Glühwürmchen. So this is uh, sour uh, glowworms. Mmm. Not very sour, but like a little bit sour, a little bit sweet. A good, good mix um, and a, a nice gummy. It's a little bit of a jello flavor to it. I like this. Six out of ten? Nine out of ten on these two. This word has appeared on some other stuff too. Knusper. The same brand that we've been through a, bunch, a few times now called Seti. Knusperflocken. Knusper. No English. Crisp. Crunch. Is it nuts? Milk chocolate. So it's like um, a... Uh, oh, it does taste like uh, Vasa. Yeah. Like a bread. It really tastes like... Uh, I'm okay with this. Hard bread with chocolate on it. But do you know what I would like? I would like, like milk with this. To eat them a little bit like a cereal. Um, you feel pretty good. Mm. 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. Okay, another mint. <laughs> and the rule is? <laughs> no mint in the meal. Mm -hmm. Riesen Caramel. The Riesen is a brand that we like, right? Yes. Oh, it's hard. Mm. Mm. I think it tastes like a butter cola. Mm. Nice little workout for your jaw. Yes. Nine and out of ten. I say these are good, but I would also class these as an old people candy. They're way, like old people cannot eat this, their teeth would fall out. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, come on, they, they use their fake teeth and you just take them out and then... I'm gonna give them an 8 out of 10, they were nice. Now, the rule of the mint. That's no longer apply because we're in the end. <laughs> are we doing gum first now? So these are Center Shock and I have a previous experience with a brand or name Center Shock and I think they're sour. Mr. Slimer. And mystery. Oh, I don't want either. <laughs> Ghost. Strawberry. Mr. Slimer. Mystery. Cola. Skull. Crazy King. I, I like that they're very clear with the flavors like ghosts and skull. <laughs> yeah. Try the black one then maybe it's licorice. Yeah. Maybe maybe they're not even sour. Yeah, um, uh, this looks exactly like the kind of candy that is sour. Yeah, it does. But this is a oh, gum. Blah. <laughs> oh no! Can't taste in in with. Oh, it frets on my tongue. In, in with it. It's like acid. 
In with it. And no, 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 no. <laughs> in with it. No. Yeah. Do it. Just that hurts. For the video. One, one, two. One, two. It's not that bad. And you wear it off pretty quickly. <gasps> it's already gone for me. Like way back. Way back. Yeah, I mean, the flavor disappears pretty quickly. And it's not even good in the beginning, so. <laughs> Too bad at that. I like the little center shock you get right there. But I'm not that much for gum. Even if it's sour, but for being sour, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I don't like sour. Everybody knows that. But everyone thinks it's very funny to see you eat sour. Rude. Just like you think it's fun to see me eat lake la licorice. Lake licorice. Licorice. Well, it's pretty tasty now, but the flavor is going to be gone soon. I can up my grade to a 3. Generous mm -hmm. today, are we? How nice is it to not have to clean up like the huge oh, mountain yeah. of candy for once? <laughs> <laughs> like. We we really don't we really appreciate the small packages too. Like the size does not matter. Um, I mean, we're already up to almost half an hour of filming on this smaller package. Yeah, so we take our time anyway. And uh, like after we're done with a regular video, then like re re closing packages and like sorting everything out and putting them into like or like containers, containers and whatever is needed. It takes some time, and when you're done with like a sugar rush like this, then you feel like doing nothing. <laughs> Thank is you. this Donald Trump? It looks like he's come over. <laughs> a leaf. <laughs> is this, you see the little mint figure to your, what it's gonna be, left or right? I don't know. <laughs> is that a happy little Donald Trump? <laughs> I think it looks like that. <laughs> or his green brother. So, mint kissing. Woo! Mm -hmm. I love mint candy. I think these are going to be like amazing. Mm, I love mint. mint. I think mint, mint is such a fresh feeling in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> these were nice. Mm -hmm. Like a little bag. The look, I would say, is similar to Polka Elisa. Mm. Polka Pigs. Tasty. Uh, I like that. 8 out of 10. Yeah, uh, 8 out of 10 for me too. Pretty much in sync here today. Yes. I'm kind of proud of you. You know why? You're, you know why you're sitting again? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why we're in sync? Because mm. <laughs> we don't have hair. Yeah. It's closer between our brains. Because we're both shaved heads now. Well, you have very long hair. Actually. So when are we gonna lie together as two bald-headed people? Ew. What? What do you mean, ew? You can't you... talk to them about what we're gonna lie together? Yeah, sure, okay. I would uh, understand if you found that it was private, <laughs> but you, me suggesting it and you saying ew? Yeah, because your emphasis on bald-headed laying together, that's ew. Well, what we described, you, we described in the last video how you do when you lay with a, another bald person. You do this. Oh. You have to shave your head to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah, my hair is way too long now, guys. You can shave at the same time as your beard. You're gonna be so naked. Yeah, that was, I was actually planning <laughs> on doing that. We're gonna look the same. <laughs> I was oh actually God. planning on doing that, but I might do it earlier so I don't have to, like, it will take shorter time. The mint choco from Genaise Grasse. This is not how you eat them. I'm not a fan of chewing these candies. They're supposed to take a long time to eat. But I really like, they're like Marianne, whatever they're called. Mm. There's a classic old people candy in Sweden called Marianne. Marianne something. Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> Mint outside, chocolate inside. They're exactly the same. And I do like them. It's just that when it comes to mint, I always want to finish with mint. I never want to have like a mint candy in the middle because then the, everything is... Yeah, and everything is gonna taste mint after that. If the mint taste lingers in your mouth. Remember our rule here on the channel? Yeah, but... Uh, no mint in the middle. So we were, uh, we haven't degraded this, right? Nine or ten. Ooh. Very generous, Mrs. Cat. Yes, my two favorites were... Uh, 
Min Choco Chocs Chucky Chucks Chucks and the Reason Caramel. I'm gonna say my first pick of the bunch would be the Trolley Gummy Worms. Thank you for sending this package, Lisa. If you want to send a package from your country, I will leave the info down below so you can contact me for a candy contact consultation. <laughs> <laughs> and we still have a bunch of packages left to go through. And um, I hope you enjoyed this series, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And from the whole furry family. And Rascal. Yeah, that's the whole. Yeah, but he's not here. Okay. Well, anyway. We're not the furry family anymore. We're gonna be the naked family next week. From the shade family, or soon to be. And it's not like a day.